need to clear the air from all. Hey there, how's it going? Prosper here from Live Long Digital. Sorry you, you, you came in while I was doing a bit of housekeeping. I was just clearing the air of all the bullshit that happens in the world, just so that you've got a pure 30 minutes of jam-packed information about how you can actually start scale and grow a brand that's profitable and enjoyable so like i said guys my name is prosper tarovinga and um my job is really really simple i want to maximize your profits and i want to help you connect with your clients so that you have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable so i was just putting in together the show notes for today i hope you can see them and i hope we're going to go through them real quick where we're actually talking about how you can make personalized experiences for your brand and those people that are actually enjoying your content, etc., etc. Okay, I see Trish is in the house. Uh, Matthew is in there as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. And look who's here. Thank you guys. You guys make me so proud knowing that, um, you know, every time I, I come around here, there's somebody else that's on the other side. Okay, so like I was talking, guys experiences you want to create brand experiences so that people would come back for more all right this is what i'm talking about science from ever we've uh, you know from all the time that we've been told science has been telling people no longer to buy material possessions but to actually buy experiences Okay, so what does that mean for you even if you're an online entrepreneur? It actually means you now have to change the way you present your work, the way you present your, 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 yourself as a brand into experiences that customers can literally talk about and, you know, rave about creating, you know, that brand familiarity. Okay, I don't know if you really actually know... Um, you know, there has been studies that they're actually doing saying that you need to buy experiences because they make you a happier person. You need to buy experiences because people get really used to possessions. People get used to, um, you know, familiarity and people just don't like things that are no longer novel. Okay. So when you start creating your brand services, your brand, um, you know, interactions with people into experiences, you now give people a way of thinking that they can personalize, you know, how they perceive your brand. Okay, because you cannot influence somebody who has not made their own conclusion about your own brand. All right. So you, you might be going out there thinking, oh, yes, I'm a graphic designer. Yes, I am this. I'm a digital marketer. But what do other people perceive your brand as? What is your message saying? What experiences are you giving to people so that they start associating your brand with happier emotions, with happier feelings so that they come back for more or they talk about you a little bit more? All right. I'll, I'll, I'll say something that's really, really funny. Um, today in the morning. Um, I received a letter from Vic Rhodes. Normally when you receive a, a letter from Vic Rhodes, and Vic Rhodes is like our local um, motoring board, so they give you your licenses, they give you, um, you know, registration for your car so that you can be on the road, and I hardly ever drive, and my car is just sitting out there. So I'm wondering, why would Vic Rhodes be contacting me? Right, so the letter comes in, and drum roll, guys. This, this was actually amazing. It's like, it says, graduation time. All right? That's how it starts. It says, graduation time. And I'm like, what am I graduating to? And it says, congratulations. Our records show that you will graduate to full driver's license at midnight on the 20th, 07, 17. And I was like, oh, wow. This is amazing. This is really, really good. And backstory, obviously, since I've been in Australia just six months, I had to redo my license because the license that I had from back home was um, was not valid in Australia. So I had to start with the red peas and the green peas and do the whole process as if I was 16 all over again. But I was given a graduation certificate from the, 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 the governing body for roads saying I have graduated and congratulations that I'm now a full driver, all right? It's nothing. It's, it's a letter that you get in the mail every single day. It means nothing, but it got me thinking, 
all right? First of all, I haven't graduated into anything. So this is the first and closest I would ever be to graduating, all right? You already see how the experience is making me think of Vic Rhodes in a favorable way. First, when the letter came in, I was like, oh my God, what is it? What fine haven't I paid or whatever? But they've made it so nice and got me back. And I've made my own interpretation of this letter up until I'm even talking about it to you guys so that you see my excitement. Okay, so they say graduation time. Now, this is the closest I'm getting to any sort of graduation. Imagine how that makes me feel. All right. And then they're saying congratulations. All right. I'm like. I haven't been driving. I never leave my office. I never leave my house. All right. Congratulations for what? Okay. So they're making, you know, this news into an experience, which I'm now talking about, which I will be raving about for quite a while. Cause you now cannot take this graduation that I've been given by Vic Rods from me at any time. Now, if you are doing this in your content and putting out stuff that, you know, clients make their own conclusions about your own stuff, can you imagine what stories will come about as a result of interacting with your brand? Right now, I'm now just going to go to Uber and say, hey, listen, I'm just going to drive, you know, for you guys. You know why? Just because it, I've been told I'm a really good person and I've graduated. Okay. You see, it says, congratulations, graduation time. I'm really excited about this. It got me to think about today's um, topic as in, are we creating brand experiences so that our clients can actually use and make conclusions of what it is that we do so that they would know, like, and trust us and refer people to coming to us. All right. I mean, I could be raving about this letter, but it's an experience that I got. All right. What are you putting out there for your clients so that they're raving about whatever it is that you're giving them? Humans are creatures of habit. You could automate the hell out of your funnels. You could automate the hell out of your, 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 your content output. But are you bringing clients closer to you so that they feel like they're part of what you're creating? You know what I mean? No, nobody really, really cares about what you're doing and how you're doing it unless you show them that you also care for them. So if you are not doing anything out there to actually entice and bring your customers in and them make stories out of whatever it is you're putting out there, then I think you're missing the whole point. All right. Do you know what I mean? And uh, Kia Matiha says, hi, thank you so much for tuning in. I don't know if this is actually, um, you know, um, you know, making a little bit of sense with regards to um, how what we are creating as business people should now translate into day to day activities and conclusions that our customers make about our products. Yeah, you see what they say is and, you know, scientists are continuously telling people don't spend your money on things, spend money on experiences. All right. That's exactly what it is. When I started the show, it was a good experience for me to to smell a good air so that my my thought process is cool. And it was really, really a, 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 an experience that you got to see how I, you know, clear my behind the scenes. Chris, how are you doing? Yeah. The trouble is things and material possessions. They don't give us happiness. And, you know, the happiness fades quickly as soon as you make that purchase as soon as somebody buys something from your funnel the happiness goes away and that's the reason why they now come back for a refund because you know you maybe gave them scarcity to say hey buy this for a limited time only and then when they realize it wasn't a limited time they want their money back all right so Steven says, great opportunity to make them leave your experiences. I try to do this. It feels good. It feels absolutely amazing. Right now, this letter would have been making me very scared to open it, but it, it, it's now given me a different perception of Vic Roads. I mean, their government body or whatever uh, body they are, and you don't want to have letters from them, but that letter I'm actually going to keep because this is the only graduation I now have that has been recognized and I hardly ever leave the house. So do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's mine to keep, right? 
the thing is, apparently we get so used to possessions. And once we have seemed, um, you know, once we, we, we've used whatever it is, headphones or the phone or whatever, we now start taking it for granted. But we treasure a lot with the experiences that we have gone through, how we made that purchase, how somebody treated us and how they spoke to us on the phone. Have you ever noticed that if somebody speaks to you in a wrong way, you will make sure you tell everybody else about how that went. But if somebody speaks to you nicely, hardly do you hear about it. All right. So the thing about, you know, buying, you know, goods or whatever it is that you're selling, it just keeps raising the bar or the standard. And you know, it just leads people to want to buy more up until they're satisfied. But what experiences are they going to talk about pretty much after that? You know, happiness is found in experiences. So if you really want to contribute to the success and happiness of your own clients as well, introduce them, involve them with the way you do your business, how you come up with your ideas and how you actually move from where you are and how you're going to help them and take them on that journey. People dig that shit. All right. So half of us are really trying to put content out there and we don't really know how to create a brand experience for our customers. And I, I can tell you, it's not easy. We as business people, we are now taking over, you know, what Disney used to do for their clients. We are now taking over what, um, you know, yellow pages used to do for their customers because they had a budget to create their experiences. But us as, you know, one man band, we don't know how to keep our customers satisfied. And the fact that there's bigger brands out there that is luring our customers every single day to come to them because of, you know, it's easy to deal with them. What are we doing as a small business person to create those experiences, either in our content, in the way we put our messages out there, in, in, in the way we interact with the people that are actually paying us to stay in business? Because let me tell you guys, the effect you have on others is the most powerful currency that you actually have. If you're not doing anything right now to create, you know, longevity with your customers to create that, oh, I got to sit in and watch this video or I got to sit in and watch and get more of this content, then I think you're just praying and spraying to an empty theater. All right. The reason why I sit here every day for 30 minutes so that you would get to know me, like me, and then start trusting me. And in the process, you're getting an experience where you get to learn how to earn more money with less struggle. In that experience, again, you, you, you get the recognition of, you know, the, the people in your industry. You know why? Because you're implementing the things that we're talking about. Not a lot of people are giving people experiences out there. All right. It's no longer a situation where you, you, you just write a letter and you expect somebody to write it back in return. No, if you're not, you know, giving somebody a feeling or invoking some sort of emotion inside of them, then I think you've lost that battle already. So you want to find out what it is that you have to offer. Like I said, you know, your the way you make other people feel, the way you 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 create and you relate to other people is exactly going to be, you know, the way that people would now actually bring or reciprocate that with their credit card. Remember these people that we're talking to are people like yourself. You have a family, you have kids, you've got a mortgage, you've got bills to pay, car loans on you, etc., etc. But are you creating your work, your brand, or your, your funnel into a way that it then becomes a haven for people to hide from all the hardship that's going on outside? I don't know if you've noticed the way I've created my Facebook profile. I've made sure that it's so positive, it's so energizing, it's very informative that I, I, I imagine my profile being a little tent in the woods. You've got lions, you've got bears, you've got spiders, you've got mosquitoes chasing you. And then all of a sudden you find my profile as a tent there and you can hide there for a couple of seconds. You know, you can find positive codes, positive pictures. You know what I mean? You find positive people that are just in there enjoying maybe a, a couple of minutes. And then you then go out into the newsfeed, into you know, the, 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 the devils that are out there in the world. 
That's the sort of experience I'm hoping to create. And if you're enjoying that experience, please hit the like button so that I know that I'm doing a good job. All right? It's, it's no longer the whole um, spray and pray and hope that people will enjoy it or build it. They will come, etc., etc. Marketing is now all about the kind of experience that you're actually b- delivering to your customers with each and every interaction. Whether it's a post, whether it's a tweet, whether it's a snap, whether it's whatever it is, a message in the, in the inbox. Are you making people laugh? Are you making people want more? Are you making people enjoy who they are, remember you, or even say something about you after that interaction happens? Do you know what I mean? You gotta be, you know, putting out compelling, um, you know, experiences because at the end of the day, there's two billion other people that could be interacting with on Facebook. Why choose you? Why choose you? Who are you? What are you giving them? What what difference does it make if they go to Sally's profile? What difference does it make if they go to uh, Matthew's profile? If they go to Sue's profile? What are they not going to find that your profile is providing? What? Do you know what I mean? And Sue says, spray and pray with your marketing. Thank you so much for tuning in, by the way. And Natasha, thank you so much for tuning in. All right? So your marketing has to be providing that all-round experience that when they go in, they're picking up, oh, all right, I can get that. Oh, I can get that. Oh, I don't, oh, I can stay in here. Oh, what am I seeing? Oh, there's a video. Let me sit down and watch. That sort of experience. Not people going and they're like, oh my God, what is going on? Get me out of here. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. That's not what you want. You want people to to feel welcome. You want people to actually, you know, feel like, oh my God. Oh, what's this? What's this? All right. So the more compelling the experience, the faster you actually build brand loyalty. All right. It's no longer about, yeah, just like my tweet, tweet my tweet, tweet my tweet, tweet it, share it. Nobody cares. Why would I share it? In fact, the experience that you actually build becomes the brand that your customers talk about. It becomes what stays top of mind with your customers. Who is that prosper guy? Oh, he's the guy that will help you you know, have a a business that's profitable. He's the guy that would help you have a business that you can enjoy working on. Who is that prosper guy? Oh, he's that guy who will, you know, help you earn more money within your business with less struggle. Who is that prosper guy? Oh, you listen to him. You will get a bit of recognition within your industry. You know why? Because everybody else ain't shit. Right. So you must really, really start thinking about, you know, the totality and and the tonality of the experience. Are people really, really coming in because of what you're saying? How you're saying it? Are they coming in for motivation? Are they coming in to to get tips and tricks? What are they coming for? Remember, you are not special. There's nothing special about you at all. There's two billion other people that could be out there spending and frolicking time with. That's why you got to appreciate every like, every share, every comment, every eyeball you get. Because I want to tell you guys, I want to tell you guys, it's a gift. It is an absolute gift to have anyone's attention for a second. It's an absolute gift to wake up in the morning and do what you absolutely love and you're actually bringing value to people. It's a gift. Stop playing with yourself. All right. So at the end of the day, you know, you want to make sure that the the, the tone you're putting out there, the tonality, it's, it's like a right combination and it feels like an experience. It's a velvet experience, you know, filled with champagne. People are taken aback and then they feel like they're on holiday while they are on your profile or they're reading your blog. They feel like they are in Bali, you know, looking at their novel, sipping a pina colada just by looking at what you've written. 
You want to take people there. Instead of just being the person that just makes people's heads. Bleh, you're not doing anything. And Sue Mills says, authenticity and real value is something that is true and real and show gratitude. Of course. And I must say, guys, I really want to say this from me to you. I really, really appreciate you um, watching this video right now. If you felt what I'm going through, can you just hit a like so that I know you there mentally? All right. Okay. So with, 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 with whatever tone of voice you're going to put out there, make sure, you know, the, the content is, is, is good enough for people to want to come back and start creating those brand experiences. And without a brand experience, guys, you are just another product. Without the brand experience, you are just another has been, you are just another book in the shelf, you are just another Chrome extension, you are just another app in my phone, you are just another pen in my pen case thingy, you know, I don't even know who made that, but this one stands out, oh it's not even a pen, see it, it's, it's creating an experience for me to think, oh okay, you know, it's standing out. Without any experiences that you are creating in and amongst your messaging, or the, the market you choose to go out to, and the people you really want to speak to, your tone of voice, your charisma, you know, your consistency, every one of those things constitute and now create four good brand experiences. I also put up a post uh, today, a little bit earlier on, where I was talking about Stay, try and start thinking outside your geographical box. Start thinking outside your, the 24 hour box. You know why? Because every time you put something on your social media or as a blog, I'll tell you something. Somebody in Bujumbura sees it. Somebody in Djibouti sees it. Somebody in Melbourne, Australia sees it. Somebody in U uh, Texas sees it. Somebody in London sees it. You want to make sure that you're everything you're putting out there, you're putting the, your best foot forward. And every single time somebody sees something for you, you're starting the clock because people have to see your content at least eight times for them to actually now start interacting, paying attention and see if you're worth their time. So every post, every content, every blog, every video, every live, every like, every group you join, every interaction, you're starting the clock for somebody who's going to be a customer in the future. How are you putting your best foot forward? I'm not saying stop posting or anything. I'm just saying you now really got to make sure that every post, every, um, you know, interaction is intentional. Yeah, that would then give you the opportunity to walk into any room you want like Kramer. You know, I've, I've always wanted to, to be like Kramer, you know, like, how does he do it? Like, open the door and slide in. I can't do it because there's carpet in there. But if, if, if there was floorboards in this room, oh, that would be my experience every single day walking in here. You know, so you owe it to these people because they or the, your customers, because at the end of the day, it's people that have worked hard to get that money. So you've really got to make sure it's worth their time, it's worth their effort, and it's really, really worth them paying attention to you. Yeah? So, you know, if the experience is not something to be reckoned for, they're not going to come back for more. And if the experience is not complete or it's inconsistent, people are tired of one-click wonders. You will delay the process of you getting paid. You know, so consistency is actually really, really important because it then creates part of the whole experience. Like right now, you know, every day at 2 p.m., you, you know, set aside some time so that you, we, you, we can sit around for 30 minutes and watch this show. And you know, after you watch this show, you learn some really good insights. You also know that I'm really excited that I just graduated as a full-time driver. Small things like that. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. You have no idea. I'm going to read it again. It's graduation time. Congratulations. Our records show that you graduate for full driver's license. I I'm a graduate. 
See the experience this has created for me? I'm actually going to take the rest of the day off and just drive. You know why? Because I've earned it. <laughs> they told me I've graduated. So I'm going to show everybody else who wants to catch up for coffee after this. But you, you see what I'm talking about, right? You know? And if, if you're, say, maybe um, a, a travel agent or you're a graphic designer, you, you want to... It's not just about copying and pasting stuff or, you know, pasting photo and, you know, you know, toning or whatever it is. You want to make it into an experience. Yeah? For that specific customer. Get them to be part of the, the whole process, the thinking process, so that they think that they were part of the creation of how their logo came out. You know? You just need to, to pace it so that they're not really pushing in their own input. You, the experienced person, or you, you, the expert in there. But the tonality of your brand experience would actually now start creating brand loyalty. All right? So this also includes, you know, engaging with your customers through very various ways that would then make it feel like they're at home. It's part of them. They're also part of your business, your brand, and they want to help you see it through. Because if you're not going to involve them, they don't care anything about how your brand goes in tomorrow. They don't care. All right? So if you're consistent and you're not wasting their time, you, you, you're keeping the tone fresh, positive, and you're actually making them enjoy and invoking feelings because people buy on emotion. How did you make them feel? How did you, you know, how are you presenting yourself? How you present yourself to other people? It's also very, very important. That experience of them knowing that you're actually a totally good person and you actually help other people by actually helping people, that will elevate your brand. Yeah? And don't be afraid to, to, to fire customers that don't fit into your, your whole brand alignment. Yeah? Clean out the dirt. You know what I mean? We, we've become you know, a 24-7, a, a, a you know, culture. Don't just because somebody is, is in your local vicinity and they're being a douche, you, you got to stick up to that. No, 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 no. We've got clients all over there, you know. So set the tonality and maintain it. Have you ever noticed my profile is so clean? It's like I, you know, I speed polish and clean it every morning. You know, any single bit of dirt, I eliminate because I want whoever is coming in for the first time to feel like they have just come at home. I want them to feel like this is the only place they gotta be on the internet. And I'm working towards that and I really, really appreciate every single one of you guys that are making this dream of mine possible. All right, so that then defines my brand. That then defines how people are meant to be interacting with me because once you set the tonality of how you want people to, to treat you, nobody will ever go beyond. And if they do go beyond, they will check themselves out. That's just how it works. And I call this tonality. Yeah. And, and, and regardless of this, tonality should actually be a conscious decision on your part. If you are a good person, you will attract good people. All right. And if you're an ancient person, that's why you're attracting ancient people to your vicinity. So you want to make sure all the experiences of the people that you're putting in together are really, really amazing. All right. I'm going to ask you something, you know, when was the last time you went to a restaurant and maybe you booked the restaurant on the website and the website was very enticing. The food was well lit. Exactly. You know, you could see your meal. You could actually eat it with your eyes. And then you read the reviews and everyone is like, oh, my God, I can actually go and work there just to eat the lasagna every single day, etc., etc." And then you're like, you know what? I'm going to book this restaurant. You go there, you get an Uber, the Uber guy is so friendly, and you're like, oh my God, the experience is just going on, right? You are associating that nice experience with what you are anticipating. And you go there, and then the person that checks you in is like, oh my God, there you go. Here's a piece of candy to eat so that you don't stink up our restaurant. And you're like, okay, I'll have it. And then pretty much from then on, they give you a seat or a place to sit, and you're like, oh my God. And then they give you lemon water so that you go to the bathroom and excrete whatever dirt you have so that when you then eat the food that they have their palate is your palate is so good you're sitting there and then then they give you um 
you know, little things to read. Um, I don't know if you guys have been to Heston's place for dinner. They give you little books to read and then, or little things to read while you're waiting for your food. And you're like, oh my God, the experience is so going to be fantastic. You read it and then you put it in your pocket. You're like, you know what? This is, if this is the only thing I'll walk out with on this restaurant, I will. Okay. So, you know, the experience is still going. You go in there, they start playing some really good music and you're bouncing along and you're like, oh my God. You look across to your wife and you're like, you know what? I earned this. We, we both deserve to have a good time. And then the food comes in and it's burnt. Where do we start? That kills the whole experience, doesn't it? That kills the whole experience anticipation that we had the whole build up everything was going so per up until it just went and it, it it left the building so you want to make sure that when you are bringing people into your work when you're bringing people into your um your 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 your, your vicinity ask yourself what experience am I hoping my customers are going to get from interacting with my brand? All right. So you want to execute your market marketing consistently with both, you know, the tone that you put out there, the way you interact with people when they come through and you will have a winning formula for your brand guys. All right. I've just been given my graduating certificate. I'm actually going to go and just drive around to, to, <laughs> to celebrate the only thing I've ever graduated from. I really hope this uh, show was amazing for you as it was for me creating it. And I want that you know that my job is basically to help you maximize profits and you to actually enjoy your business so that you have a happier existence. My name is Prosper, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. And let's continue the conversations in the bottom there if you really enjoyed this show. In the meantime, please share this. Please share this. All right, I'll catch you again tomorrow, 30 minutes, and we will be telling you exactly how you can actually earn more money with less stress. All right, in the meantime, enjoy your, 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 your day and go out there and create magnificent experiences for your clients. You know why? Because your brand depends on it.